sure, it it's like a cool thing for necromancers, I guess, with regards to the soul trap. But the real fun part of it is that it's just cool to knock shit over. Like this dude, for example. <laughs> Look at this fucking asshole. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh, there's a giant too. Hang on, can I knock over the giant? When we had last left the last dragonborn, they had gotten back on the trail of the Crimson Dirks. Yes, that high flying, rootin' tootin' bandit gang that we all know and love from long, long ago. Yes, storied for their alternative armors. And now it was time to, of course, go seek out more of that shit because it had taken them far and wide back to Embershard Mine, back to Falkreath Cemetery, and now to who knows where. This is the Elder Scrolls V, Skyrim. Welcome back. Zoop. There we go. Let us head on out of here. Let's go look for another note, which it'll be really funny if, given that opening, it's actually not tied to the Crimson Dirks whatsoever. <laughs> right? I feel like... I feel like there's a good chance, though. You know, I feel like... You pop open the big book of Creation Club quests and all of that. I feel like one out of three times you're gonna hit something Crimson Dirk related if you if you just randomly go for something, you know? Throw a knife. Well, <laughs> I don't. What do you? What? What's the term for like you shoot a fish in a barrel and one out of three of them is a Crimson? No, you throw a knife at a. <laughs> at a crowd of people <laughs> and one of them is a crimson dirk one out of three of them there's a chance you're gonna hit a crimson dirk <laughs> with your dirk i guess right weird that they don't have any dirks you know isn't a dirk that's like a dagger right it's a dirk you know i feel like how come there are no there there aren't even dirks in this game can we just like mull over that fucking fact What's a fucking Dirk? I, have I played a, a fucking Elder Scrolls game at all that has had a fucking Dirk in it? I can't remember the last time I played a fucking game with a Dirk. Probably some sort of, like, uh, stats-focused RPG, right? Like a Path of Exile or something, right? Where they have to look up, like, 50 million different synonyms for sharp object that you kill people with, right? And then, like... The third tier is like Dirks, right? It gets you started with like Rusty Knife of Slaying Goblins. And then the next one up is like Rusty Butter Knife. Well, I, well maybe that one would be the first one. <laughs> but, but the other Hot Poker of Slaying Goblins. And then you finally get to the third one. And it's like Dirk of Slaying Goblins. <laughs> So many goblins. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even- <laughs> I don't even think there's any goblins in, like, currently the two most popular, like, isometric action RPGs, like, stats-focused RPGs and all that, you know? I don't even know if there are goblins in those. Does Path of Exile or Diablo- they got goblins in there? I don't know that they do. I don't know. All right, over here. There we go. Look, I dealt with it. Who even was this? Was this a courier for me? I'm not sure. This could possibly be a courier. Yeah. Hey, important deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Okay, I'll just check your letter here. Map got updated. Oh, fucking Valheim Towers. Shit. Gonna take your meat pie. A important cool. deliveries to make. No time for chatting. Okay. No time to chat. Let's see. So now where else do I need to head over to in this region? 
Right? I've got a few more on our mystical list. Let's see. Yeah, we got two more we can hit up. We can go to the Bandit Mare. Ooh, an unmarked bandit camp west of Dragon's Reach. We gotta look for a note. Okay. An unmarked bandit camp. Shit, we probably went there. Maybe that was one of the ones that we, like, traveled through for the one that we just recently did not too long ago. I think it was the one before last, where we went out to the, like, lunar bandits or whatever their names were, you know, where they got the, like, lunar steel and all of that. Oh, shit. Let's see. Let's take care of this. There we are. Good. By the way, how you gonna have, like, a whole little, like, story and, like, fun flying adventure right by Whiterun? And all that shit involves, like, lunar weapons, lunar steel? And it just has nothing to do with both the Sky Forge and the companions who are werewolves? How, how is it completely unrelated to them? Right? How is that not, like, directly a part of one of those two, uh, facets of reality or whatever, right? What the hell? Okay. Well, let's just be on the lookout. We are, yeah, to the west. Maybe it's this one that's, like, kind of hunkered down underneath, you know? It is an unmarked one that we're meant to go for. And I want to say this one is definitely unmarked because it's like, yeah, it's right underneath the actual city. It's really wild that no one really seems to do much about these bandits over here. Like, they're really close to everybody else. There we go. I mean, frankly, it also seems like kind of a weird location for the bandits, too. <laughs> <laughs> right? Shit. Oh, I accidentally activated my weird super speed. There we go. Holy shit, look at Cosnack go. Beating the hell out of a saber cat. And winning, honestly. Look at that. Hey, look. Was that my geek in the background? Just, like, coming over the hills? Holy shit! I know the electricity must have played a role, but it really, like, traveled with Cosnac's hook action, you know? Okay. Anything good on this saber cat? Oh, a silver ring. And an eyeball. I'll take it. Mike? Hey. What are you doing out here? Oh, shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what did he say? <laughs> <gasps> Maik knows why Falmar are blind. It has nothing to do with the Dwemer disappearing. Really. Okay. Maik has heard it is dangerous to be your friend. Oh. Is that actually reactivity? Maik is tired oh. now. Go bother somebody else. Oh, okay. Alright. Sure. Let's see. Let us head on over here. Ah, smuggler's note. This must be it. Oh, wait, there's another note over here. Smuggler's trade notes. Whoa, okay. Let's see, is there anything else good? Oh, fuck yeah, a bunch of skooma. Look, we pick up the skooma and everything moves. Hell yes. Snowberries, a thank you. Large sack filled with salt. Fantastic. Red apples, I'll just munch on them. More apples. Holy shit. So many apples. Okay. Anything else? More barrels with shroomages. Sacks of cabbage. Okay. Sure. I like it. Flour. I feel like we're getting to a point where we don't need to be eating these anymore, you know? Still, I'm doing it anyway. Okay, we really need to... <laughs> okay. Let's see. A little tiny sack. Oh, it's filled with salt. Awesome. More cabbage. More salt. 
Great. Hey, you know what? Let's cook that shit up. Let's see. Where is our salmon? There it is. Oh, shit. We only got one salmon right now? Okay. Well, we got venison and other junk. Like beef. But over here. Graylings. Cook some of those up. Brook bass. Get them. Cook up a carp. A glass catfish. Okay. Sure. I'll do it. Another tripod. Great. Okay. Lovely. Now let's get to reading these fantastic notes. Smuggler's Note. Akari. You can take those prices and eat them. We found our own source of skooma now. The real stuff. Not that watered-down third-hand trash you've been selling. And don't even think of ratting us out. One word to the guards, and I'll make sure they know what that seer of yours is really up to. What? Is the seer like... I don't know. A con artist or whatever? <laughs> right? They're like... They're like those uh, fortune tellers and shit that like pretend to... You know? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? The like fake psychics or whatever? Call in. Smuggler's trade notes. Oh, here we go. Hey, the staff of Hasidoki. Well, as it turns out, it's not actually anything to do with the Crimson Dirks whatsoever. Okay. The new source has been a real boon. Skooma, poisons, black soul gems, you name it. We've got a line to a wide range of goods and an even wider range of clients, which reminds me, Someone needs to tell Akari where she can stick her bottles of sugared cat piss. We're done. Wow, just very angrily writing everywhere about Akari. Kind of a, like, fucking fixation, huh? Okay. <laughs> Somebody tell Akari that she sucks, and no, I'm never gonna kiss her. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Meanwhile, we're filling up our coffers faster than we can empty them. We're drinking day and night, and still haven't gone through half the gold from that Morrowind job for the corpse fondlers. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> I wonder if any relation to uh, any of the other corpse fondlers we would have known. With Argonian patrols up and down the border, we can charge an arm, leg, and a tail for every crate that comes in. As for the zombie petters... They were pretty pleased the staff wasn't damaged. Creepy looking thing, too. Was glad to be rid of it. The zombie petters. Is this just like some really cool way of being like, yeah, you're a necromancer. You're a zombie petter. Shit, this person is just way too fucking cool for me. Okay. <laughs> it's a shame we couldn't hold out a couple more days, though. This morning, another buyer came by the camp. An orc with a face so lumpy he must have jumped head first off the top of Dragon's Reach. Well, maybe he jumped off a of Cartag Point, you know what I'm saying? Hey, let's give it up for all the people who played Morrowind. Cartag Point, you know what I'm saying? Orcs jumping off a of Cartag Point. Fuck yes. <laughs> Turns out he was looking for the same staff, offering to pay double. I told him we could have something better for him on the next boat from Solstheim. But he was pretty sodding clever. There was only one staff he wanted to buy. Makes sense. The only thing uglier than this orc was that staff. Maybe he wants to hold it up when he shaves so he doesn't feel so bad for being born. What is this person's fucking beef with everybody? Wow, I hope you do drink gallons of Akari's cat piss. What is wrong with you, you dick? <laughs> Anyways, I sold him the information on the buyers and sent him on his hideous and ugly and disgusting way. The freak. Wow, she's so mean. <laughs> no, she, that's not in here. <laughs> if you're not reading along, I, I, I had to realize that. <laughs> but you believed it, didn't you? It tracks. <laughs> Couldn't get him to trade any of the valuables on his carriage, but it's all right. There's more than one way to part a fool in his things. I told the boys to cut him off on the road, west of Whiterun. 
at the burnt down house between the watchtower and Fort Greymore. Given how obsessed he was about the st that staff, it'll be easy to catch him off guard. Okay. Let's see. Watch him have, like, beat their asses, though. Like, it was mutually assured destruction. You know? Like, like maybe her bandit boys went over there, and they showed up to, like, beat the hell out of this orc and take his cool staff of Hasadoki. They rolled up there on his cart. And then the orc was like, oh shit, I'm too busy looking at this cool fucking staff of Hasadoki. I better turn around and look at everybody. He looks at them, and then they just see his hideous face, and they're just, like, gobsmacked. They see this disgusting orc. He is so gross, he's got, like, snot flying out of his nostrils and, like, crusting onto his face. He's, like, slathering around his mouth. Right? He's, like, drooling all over the place. He's got earwax coming out of his ears. His, like, facial hair is, like, patchy all over. And there's, like, weird shit inside of the patches that are there. And they're just like, oh, God, no! And then he uses that moment right then to unleash his ultimate weapon. The Staff of fucking Hasadoki and whatever the fuck it does. <laughs> And he fucking opens a can of whoop ass on their asses. Shit. All that's left standing in a smoldering pile. An NPC named Ugly Orc. <gasps> oh my gosh. Let's head on over. <laughs> I can't wait to see. There's no way. They gotta all be dead, right? Everybody's probably dead. Is that Talsgar? Yeah, that looks like Talsgar. <laughs> Talsgar, you look pretty fucking- No way, it's one guy! Did he really do it? Was it him who did it? He slew them all? Is he the ugly orc? Kill or pickpocket- Wow, he really was! Never should have come. Oh shit! Oh god, he's so ah. ugly! No, my eyes! Ah. <laughs> I'm blinded by his hideousness! Old- Modig Gilger? What kind of a fucking name is that? What is what is Modig Gilgar? What? Okay. Oh yeah, I feel so bad for you, Cosnag. You have to look at him like three times. Oh, he's so hideous. Let's see. How hideous is he really? Let's see over here. Hang on. Huh? Oh shit, sorry Cosnack. I'm trying to I'm trying to move him into the light. Wait, what? Hang on. Let's take off his hat. What are you talking about? He's kinda he's like hot! <laughs> he's not hideous at all! <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Well, we talk. Is is it a joke, or do I just is is my definition of it just like weird and fucked up? <laughs> okay, okay, sure. Smuggler's ledger. Let's read this. Find the necromancers at Brittle Shin Pass. Items. Dozen bottles of skooma, delivered to Delvin Mallory, Rifton, smuggler's fee, 50 septums and a favor. Knowing Delvin, the discount is worth it, at least this time around. Items, staff of Hasadoki, void salts, soul gems, bone meal, delivered to Ivara of Olenveld and Lushka Gra Ragdam, Brittleshin Pass. Smuggler's fee, just gold and gems for now. It was tough sneaking on in some of the items on the list, but the zombie lovers were happy with the haul. They say they're trying to open a portal to something called the Soul Cairn. If there's loot to be had inside, it might be a good idea to line up some buyers. Items. Cane. Book. Delivered to Bandit's White River Watch. Smuggler's Fee. Have Yar paid with a dagger and some farmer clothes with the blood still on it. The cane was a foot short, but it serves the bastard right for not paying in gold. 
I told him if he wants better service, he's going to have to learn how to fight with his eyes open. Huh. Okay. Javier? Was that the dude who was, like, literally blind? Huh. Okay. Well. Let's take that. So now we have to go all the way to Brittleshin Pass? So where's- is this- are one of these the bandits that was drinking all the, like, piss? I bet it was this person. Where'd the other bandit go? There was, like, another corpse. Oh yeah, it got reanimated. Okay, I'll drink that mead. Yeah, where did that other body go? Maybe that was it and Koznak took care of them on top of the, like, hill? I'd believe that. Okay. Cool. Conjurer's Draft. What else is here? To raise the living. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. I don't know if I've ever read that one, actually. It sounds very unfamiliar. Right. Of course, there is a hand. Black Soul Gems. Modig's Satchel. Grand Soul Gem. Huh. Weird. So you just put them inside of a basket and that's how you smuggle it? Okay. Oh, here's probably the other one that got vaporized. Jeez, I love the touch here. All the arrows lining the side of the cart. Poor fucking horse. Jeez. Okay. Yeah. Neat. What a fun little scene that they've created. And I guess this is the bandit's wagon. They were trying to haul these off. They brought it with them. But they got fucked up by ugly orc. Okay. Nothing on you, right? Yeah. Okay. Let's get you back in action there. So how far do we need to go for Brittle Shin Pass? Oh, it's not too far at all. Okay. Let's remove our tracker. Let's see, go over here, get Prior Mabel real quick. Boom! There we go. Good. Neat. And then we'll head on over. We'll see what's up. A lot of these people getting into, uh, zombies and shit, right? Why do you even need the Staff of Hasidoki? You know? What does it even do? Maybe it empowers existing zombies? Maybe that's it. Because you certainly don't really need something to make zombies if you can just master your own... Oh shit, look. Is this old orc? Having slain two saber cats? But yeah, you can just pop a conjure undead or like raise dead if you want. Oh wait, hang on. I don't think we turn off here. Yeah, I think we gotta go up a little bit more. Oh, look at these wolves trying to fuck with goat friend. Oh shit! <laughs> okay. All right, the wolf did it. The wolf did it. Look, there was. I, it wasn't me. <laughs> I know it lit on fire, but that wolf's, like, fangs and teeth were enchanted with flaming damage. There we go. Good, good, good. Brittle shin. I'm trying to remember what the hell was up with this place. Brittle shin pass. I don't really remember. Was it tied to, like, one of the... Orcish strongholds, maybe? We got two icons on the radar. A skeletal dude. Alright. Maybe this is like a new area? Nah. There is a bone man here. Huh. Okay. 
take the soul gem off of him. Anything else? No. Okay. Sure. Chop ourselves off a bit. Yeah, maybe this is a brand new spanking area. A brand spanking new area. I don't know. I thought it said cleared, though. This doesn't seem very familiar to me. Maybe it's been a while or something? Didn't it say cleared? Well, yeah. Yeah, it even still says cleared. I can't remember what we were here for, then. This isn't the... Like, Hersene Daedra Quest area. That was a lot more outdoor, wasn't it? Hmm. Yeah, that was Bloated Man's Grotto, wasn't it? For Hersene, I believe. Okay. Take care of the Bone Man. <laughs> Difficult to sneak up on him. It's gotta be said. Oh, yeah, we get their soul husks. Interrupts the soul drain effect in the soul cairn. Resists 10% of magic for 10 seconds. I forgot that there was a soul drain effect in the soul cairn. I, I completely forgot that that was even a mechanic at all. Oh. Spell to him conjure putrid zombie. Fuck yeah. I want a fucking nasty ass zombie. Oh, look at this dickhead. Okay. Let's roll up here. Gotcha! Is someone there? Arcade the enemy, the black arts are on trial, Namira's rot. Cold resist. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pull that bro. You will pay for that! Fuck, I think I hit, uh, Vincent. There we go. Good. Retrieve the necromancer's staff. Did you have it? Oh uh, yeah, you did. Staff of Hasadoki. If target dies within 60 seconds, fills a soul gem. Knocks back the target on impact. While not attacking, creates a ward that protects against spells for up to 40 points. What? Knocks back on impact? Huh. Okay. The light and the dark. I don't think we've read that one either. Ivara's notes. Let's clear out of combat here too, real quick. There we go. The journey from Olenfeld was long, but worth the trip. We'll have a far easier time finding what we need to open the portal to, soul, to the Soul Cairn. The pass is remote, and yet there are no shortage of travelers looking for a shortcut across the mountains. As such, we'll have plenty of blood and bone meal at our disposal, but we'll need void salts and soul gem fragments to complete the ritual. Lushak suggested we contact the local smugglers for help with the latter. She'd been in contact with one about the staff of Hasadoki. If the wizard truly bonded his soul to the stave, as the legends su suggest, releasing him might provide a worthy offering to the ideal masters. In any case, adding the ingredients to the list should be an easy task. Okay. Let's see if I can get back up there. a slain hunter here, a leg of goat, eat some bread, take some money. Okay. Throw down some light. Anything good in here? Bloody rags, ragged trousers, a couple of arrows. I guess we can pick into this. There we go. Nord here with a necklace. Okay. Hmm. I'm pretty sure we have read Arcade the Enemy and the Black Arts on trial. If not in Skyrim, then in Oblivion for certain. 
Okay, we'll take these. Oh, I can hear a, like, bone man or whatever creaking. Okay. Anything else over here? More bones. A hay pile to sleep in. Two more black soul gems. Yo, okay. Oh, look. Elite necromancer robes. And a fun hat, too. Oh, yeah, look. You're actually wearing the skull on your face. Oh, that's creepy. Huh. Okay. Cool. It almost looks too clean, though. You know, look at the... The, like, stripes. The little... I don't know what you would call these. Going down the shoulders. It looks almost, like, too clean and well done. Like, it doesn't match in with the rest of the, like... Grimy nature of everything. Okay. What's it do, though? Increases your magicka by 85, and health regen decreased by 30. Huh. Okay. Elite necromancer robes. Conjuration spells last 20% longer. Increases summon limit by 1 for lesser conjured or reanimated undead. I wonder what a lesser one is. Still, that's pretty cool. So you could then have, if you maxed out, you could have three little freaks coming around with you. I wonder if it being permanent also applies to that, you know? Shit, I guess we can find out. Like, if you if you put on the... the robes and just summon up, like, a little fucking dude. Hold up. Let's find out. Let's see, do I still have that conjuration perk to where- oh no, I definitely do not. Okay. Yeah, where you can have two Atronax or reanimated zombies. Right. Okay. Well, fuck it. Let's try it out anyway. I want to see if, like, just having it on once Right? And then you unequip it. Will it immediately go away? What should we get? A skeletal minion? An undying ghost? Let's get an undying ghost. That sounds fun. Hey, look at that! And then, if I take off the robes, does it keep? Because I've already summoned them? Or do they- does one immediately despawn? Wow, okay. And then you could use that in conjunction with just, like, having a permanent summon, and you could just have, like, a small army of dudes. Holy shit. How about that? Okay. I wonder what these- what it denotes as lesser, you know? Like, does that mean just, like, tier one? Or does that mean any of the ones that are not, by default, permanent? I hmm. sense a presence. Here we go. <laughs> I did not realize that that's how they sounded. <laughs> I did not realize that they had the Oblivion voice, dude, for the Undying Ghost. Okay. Let's see. Let's activate this trap trigger here. There we go. Magicka poison. We'll apply that. Why not? Anything else around here? How far along is our sneak? You know? How much more sneak do I need? Three more. Okay. Sure. Anything else around here? No, I don't see any. <laughs> cool. I love that. Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot we have the roll. How do you even do it again? Yeah, how do... <laughs> how do you even do the, like, deft roll that we just did? How did we do that? Hang on. Isn't it... 
from sneaking? Maybe we don't. Yeah, how do you get the roll? I could have sworn that was a sneaking ability. Maybe not? What else could it be then? That gives you the roll ability. Oh my god, I have no idea. How did we just do that? Or did I just confuse it for being able to like pull out my shield? It felt like we did an oblivion roll though. Right? That's totally what it felt like. Huh. You have no idea. Huh. Very weird. Okay. Well, fuck it. Hey, there's a cave. Bad place to stumble drunk. <laughs> yeah, I hope you weren't drunk in there. Would have been a bad place. Okay. Now, I guess we'll head on back to... White Run, right? Where have we even popped out at here? Oh, on the other side, I see. Okay. Well, also, before I forget, let's get the Staff of Hasadoki ready. Ooh. Can I take a peek at it? Look at that. It's got like a little bald baby on the front sticking its tongue out at you. Okay. Sure. Staff of Hasadoki in Morrowind. Okay. Sure. Kosnek, will it work on you? Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Holy shit! That's really good! Huh. Okay. All right, I like that. <laughs> I like it a lot. Okay. Whoa, soul captured too. Oh, fuck yeah. Wow, I gotta say though, I really do not like the shield effect, right? I have to actually stow it to not have to like live that way. Okay, sure. Still, that is quite fun being able to just send people fucking flying like that. I wonder if, like, targets that are otherwise immune to, like, for example, a Fusro Da are susceptible to the Staff of Hasadoki. Similar to how there's stuff that's susceptible to, like, the Shield Charge attack that would otherwise be immune to a Fusro Da. Very curious about that. Let's chow down a little food up here. Huh. What's this? Silver ore. I don't know. Do we need silver? We might need silver. It's one of those ones that, uh, you know, because of the transmute spell, it's a bit harder to come by. I think we might need some for one of our various, like, hearthfire homes. Okay. Let's head on out. There we go. Good. Close that. And then... So we just need to go back to White Run and check the Banner to Mare. Okay. Sounds good. Let's do a quick save in case I die going down the uh, slope here. Probably gonna be fine, but you never know. Or maybe we just, like, crash or something. Who knows? It looks fine. Hey, that's where we got that elytra from, ah! right? Yeah. Dude, I'm tempted to put the fucking staff of Hasadoki on the hotbar. Okay. Like, depending on how fucking legit this is, just being able to knock over a single target at will is very fun. And frankly, a little overpowered, <laughs> all things considered. It's also a little fucking powerful, but it's also very fun. Like, for example, look at this. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, that time it did. Oh, hang on. 
Oh, come on! <laughs> Shit. These fucking reindeer are playing their games with me. Okay, fine. Let's check out the treasure here. Golden Saint Boots. I don't know if I have any in our collection. Oh. <laughs> here goes Cosnack. Okay. Jeez, I gotta stow the fucking staff there. Yeah, the worst part is that I just can't have it up and, like, out. Because otherwise you're going to get all that other wild shit going on. Golden Saint Gloves? Okay. Sure. Well. Oh, fuck. Oh, I ran over a booby trap, too. Okay. Probably should heal up. Let's see. What all... What all can we get rid of? I got my... Ray's dead. That's potentially something. Here. That's the, uh... I don't know. What's on 7? Huh. What is on 7 for me? I thought it was... Oh, Unrelenting Force. Right. Okay. How about 9? Oh, I don't have a 9. Okay. Hmm. I think maybe we get rid of the zombie shit. And just pop the has the staff of Hasadoki there. Let's see. Good. Okay, and let's re-equip Sunder. So now, I got this out. There we go. Oh fuck, it goes into that hand? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Well, that's no good. Hang on. Let's try some of this. Are they gonna know? Okay, okay, <laughs> stash our weapons and everything. Whoa! What happened? Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh! There was some weird fucking really ugly orc out here with, I think, so the fast. staff of Hasadoki. the dragon was there, the next it was gone. Everything was destroyed. Oh shit, no, it was the dragon. I see. Okay. I thought it was a really ugly looking orc who did it. There are dragons about, Traveler. Be warned. Okay. I know, I was at Helgen. And you've seen them too. Yeah. We lost our hope. Here, five gold for you. Thank you, traveler. Be safe, and don't forget to keep an eye on the sky. Okay. Sure. Let's continue on over this way. Activate our super speed and everything. Whoa! See, the unfortunate thing about, uh, having left and entered that dungeon through such an odd angle is like... Now we're a million miles away from Prior Mabel. <laughs> but we are near a whole bunch of fucking other things. <laughs> Shit. It doesn't even make the noise when you soul capture from them. At first I thought it was maybe a bug, but maybe it's like just an inherent part of it. <laughs> okay. Man, look at me go. I'm a monster. Okay. Huh. Sure, it... It's like... A cool thing for necromancers, I guess? With regards to the soul trap? But... The real fun part of it is that... It's just cool to knock shit over. Like this dude, for example. <laughs> Look at this fucking asshole. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh, there's a giant too. And can I knock over the giant? <laughs> Fuck yes. Oh my god, yo, the staff of fucking Hasadoki, baby. Oh shit. Okay. 
Hang on, check this shit out, y'all. Check this shit out. <laughs> oh, fuck yes. Hang on, how's it feel, asshole? How's it feel? Finally, the shoe's on the other foot. <laughs> and what, what can I do like a double super blast? And hand, hand. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is amazing. Wow. Who would have thought that the fucking staff of Hasadoki would be so fucking incredible? Everybody pushes me around. Well, no more. What if we give the staff of Hasadoki to Kosnek? Nobody pushes him around. What if Kosnek can push people around? Will he use it? Oh my god, look at that motherfucker fly! <laughs> okay, okay, hang on. Let's get one more going. <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. There we go. <laughs> That's the right idea there, Kosnek. It's the right idea. Holy shit. I don't even know what it did in Oblivion. Or in Morrowind, I should say. But I don't think it was anything remotely related to this. Maybe it did, like, paralysis or something? Kosnak, will going. you wield it? I need to trade what some things with you. I don't know if he'll actually use it. Because maybe he won't understand what it even does. Because it's not like it inflicts damage. It inflicts a status effect. On all accounts. That would be fucking incredible, though, if he used it. I don't think he will. Well, he... He popped out the bow. Okay, you know what? I want it. Kaznak, if you're not going. gonna use it, I, I fucking will. What do you need to take? There we go. Good. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> Who even needs a shield now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, not, when we, when you got this, who gives a shit? <laughs> Fuck yes. And I think maybe the funniest part of it as well is that it's really quiet, right? There's no like goofy impact noise or whatever. There's only the sound of it like charging up or whatever, right? Yeah, there's just that, the like standard charging up a spell noise. It launching off and like impacting with someone, it, there's no like feedback or whatever, which makes it feel extra goofy. Man. Okay. Hey, is that Nazim? <laughs> Hang on. Hey! <laughs> uh oh, we're still in trouble. Hang on. Hang on. I stashed my weapons. No! Peace! Oh god, alright, fine. I quick save just in case. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Gotta draw and stow our weapons to move. It's fine. Okay, let's head on up and over here. And we'll go check out the the old bannered mare, right? Sounds like a plan to me. There we are. Man, I wonder what else it works on. Like, does it affect other gigantic enemies like the, like Dwemer enemies? Wait, I know like automatons and shit? Does it work on them? I feel like it, it should, since it works on giants. Maybe everything that werewolves can knock, right? Because as a werewolf, couldn't we knock a, a giant anyway? I want to say, but I'm not sure. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's head on in here. Good, good, good. Come on in. And we're Don't looking you know for... Take a, seat by the fire. a letter on a table in the pantry corner. Okay. Ah. Here we go. Ah, this must be it. Shara's Diary. Well, you know what? Maybe when next we come, we'll call this one a little bit earlier. 
That way, in between videos, I can, like, tend to our inventory, because we are getting a little bit fucking overloaded, since we've done so much Crimson Dirk shit back to back. You know? We are getting kind of, like, weighed down, and I've taken, like, these cool robes and all that other bullshit. Yeah, so maybe we'll call it a little bit earlier. That way I can tend to our inventory in town, and then we'll pick this up and then do the quest, right? Sounds like a good idea. Okay, until next time, please take care of each other.